All right, everyone. So I finally finished building the sump for this 90 gallon saltwater tank and I wanted to show you how it turned out. So here I am at the 90 gallon saltwater tank. Uh, just to recap what's in it. I know you've seen videos in the past about it, uh, but I do have some corals had them for a couple months, so they're still relatively small. Um, I got some tangs in there, clownfish, and you get another one though, a couple pajama cardinals, and that firehawk, whatever his name is, I can't really remember it, but, and also I got a starfish that's just kind of being a little lazy right now, like always. All right, down below here is the sump that I completed. And it's still in an early phase of being a sump, basically. All right, it's kind of noisy. I still need to improve on the supply part. So I just have this hose running down from the intake down to a filter sock. And I literally just took a plastic container, or like a syrup container, and I put holes in the side of it. So when the water goes through the filter sock, goes out that container into this chamber right here. In the second chamber, I do have some sponges in there from the last filter I was using. So it has all that beneficial bacteria, that biomedia on it. And I do have a couple of the live rocks in here. And also have some more of those porcelain um, biomedia, whatever you call them. I can never remember the name of those things. I also have a, a light in here. I have a heater back there, so I make sure to keep the temperature the same as in the tank. And also over here in this other chamber, I have another sponge that the water runs through. And in the last chamber, I have my return pool. That goes up through that bulkhead seal and back into the tank. So, Basically, this is, like I said, this is an early stage for my sump. I do plan to make improvements as I go. Uh, but also, real quick, when I, I put these baffles in, it's not the best looking job, but I used 100% silicone that's mold-free, and I siliconed in three baffles. And then this other one here is just... Um, it's actually, that was just a tank divider. I just put these suction cups here so it wouldn't move. Works great. And I've heard so much about these filter socks. You gotta clean them so often. They're kind of really annoying. But uh, I'll see how I do with them. And if I want to change them out down the road, use something different. There's, there's a lot of options. So yeah, that basically is the sump. Um, like I said, I'm gonna make improvements on it and just uh, make it better, basically. I decided to go with my own, create my own sump instead of buying the actual sumps that cost two, three, four hundred dollars, right? So this was a learning experience, I'm glad I did it. And so now I'm pretty confident in building other sumps or down the road if I ever wanna do that. All right, so everybody, I uh, appreciate the time. Thanks for watching. And don't forget to subscribe to my channel for more content and learning experience. Thanks for watching.